<laughs> What's up guys, welcome to a uh, the temporarily named Toku Week in Review. Had too much to do, had to uh, make it its own thing. I'm gonna start with pretty much everything other than Lupin Ranger versus Patch Ranger. We will get to them at the end. Let's just start with build. Uh, we did get some new image Pandora's box from the two other uh, Saito and Hokuto, sorry, uh, this is 10 full bottles each. That's going to be a lot more. Uh, and Kamen Rider Rouge, which is going to be uh, Jintoku's upcoming form and power up, uses the Splash Driver with the Crocodile Crack full bottle. Crocodile Crack. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, Kamen Rider Xade Sports Action Gamer Level 3 is going to be getting a figure art. Here is the quick look at it. No price or anything like that is up yet, but that part is up if you would like to see it. Uh, Q-Ranger, the All-Star Complete Collection album has been revealed. Take a look at the link below if you would like to see the track listings as well as any other information about it. Uh, I do not have down any release date or anything or even if it's up for pre-order, but take a look at it now. Uh, speaking of Q-Ranger, the rumors right now is that the uh, Versus movie will in fact replace the Returns V Cinema spot and is not going to be a Versus movie with Zuoger. The rumors it's going to be called Q-Ranger versus Space Squad. If you've been watching Key Ranger, you know Space Squad. That is uh, Gavin and uh, Decker Rangers, kind of from when you saw them earlier. I've practically forgotten that happened earlier on in this season. So much has happened this season. Um, so we may be seeing them back again. And if space happens, all I can ask is that my happy pirates come back. Because I can never have enough Gokaiser. Ever. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna skip through the Lupin versus Patch stuff real quick to just get rid of the rest of the Toku stuff. Cover out is cover art is out for uh, Kuku Sentai Gogo Five. If you're interested in it, there is a pre-release date out for it. Go ahead and uh, link is up on Amazon. If you're interested in getting that out, that's the official sub, guys. Support the official subs, I guess, because they're still coming. They're still coming, and uh, even if you're not a fan now, maybe they. It will be later. I haven't bought any yet, though. I'm, you know, a huge hypocrite, so... Hmm, what do you do? Uh, Gaim's uh, Yutaka Kobayashi, uh, Kamen Rider Baron, uh, my lovely banana arms, is going to get a carry uh, for Japan, the 2018 Winter Olympic Games torch. He's one of the torch bearers. How cool is that? Congratulations to you, Mr. Banana Head. Very happy to see that. Oh, also, um, Shinkinger Pink uh, was recently engaged. I... Forgot to put all that in there, but she's actually recently engaged. Uh, two other non-writer or Sentai-related Toku bits. Uh, NY Maxman 2018's trailer. I need to find more information about this thing because it, it seems just wackadoodle, and I, I really want to watch these, so i got to find subs. But it's called Maxman. Check out the link below if you would like to see where all of that comes from. And uh, Godzilla Planet Monster is now available on Netflix. That is pretty much everything Toku related that is not Lupin Ranger versus Path Ranger. So if that's all you wanted to hear, have a wonderful day. For the rest of you sticking around, grab a drink. <laughs> all right, we did get a lot of stuff, so let's just dive right into it. We're gonna go uh, first cast and and characters, and then we're gonna talk about toys. Uh, the theme is just gonna be called uh, it's Lupin Ranger versus. Pot Ranger, and uh, it's going to be sung by Project R. I believe he's done quite a few themes before. Uh, we have gotten some stuff about the characters, uh, the actors' names and ages. Let's just go into the characters, shall we? Because also, take note, thanks to Evil Space Well for pointing that out, the names do do the naming thing as well, where they spell out the first um, name of the Sentai, except now we have two, but we have two teams, and it all just works out doesn't it? It all just works out. Let's go. We have, uh, whew. I'm not great with pronouncing Japanese names. I'm sorry. I will try my best. And as the show happens and I hear them say their names more, things will become more clear. 
let's just start with the Lupin Rangers. All of these are coming from yukiasi.weebly. Thank you so much. Links to everything are below. Uh, translations, I should say, definitely are coming from them. Lupin Rangers, mysterious phantom thieves who have each lost a dear person to them, a brother, a lover, a brother, a lover, and a female friend. And in order to save these people, they transform. They are. We have. Um, Ashai Ito is going to be playing Kayari Luno, who is Lupin Red, the team's leader who looks like a fake upon first glance and makes rash de decisions when he is unsure. Uh, Showahama as Tomo Yomigachi, who is going to be playing Lupin Blue, a cool black hearted and a person who, a cool black hearted person and a person who forgets his own character when fighting the gangler. Um, I think it's like from uh, Go Busters, like Go Buster Blue, when he would just start getting like so overheated and lose himself. Uh -huh. That could be kind of fun. Because uh, he's the green one. He's the green one. Or not the green one. He's, he's the blue one. Again, like, go blue. Looking at the wrong picture, guys. Sorry. And then for any, former uh, Morning Musumi. Please don't flame me if I say that wrong. I did not Google beforehand how to say that. It is a J-pop female group that she's graduating out of, and by her I mean uh, Haruka Kudo, and she is going to be playing Umika Hayami, Hayami, and uh, that's going to be Lupin Yellow. She's definitely already bringing some fans. Her vinyl was like the number one selling thing on Amazon when it was first up for pre-release. It's in Amazon Japan, Amazon Japan. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, it'll be nice to see bringing, uh, maybe bringing some more new fans. Give Sentai that little nice boost again, but she is uh, going to be playing again uh, Haruka Kudo, uh, Lupin Yellow seems like a dumb little sister, but actually moves at her own pace and is very firm. I'm, I'm gonna be Lupin Ranger trash, just totally throwing that out there. Let's move on to the Pets Rangers. We have uh, Kosayuki as Kichiro Asuka, who plays Patrin 1, and I'm going to be doing their translation, so I'm going to be calling it Patrin, P-A-T-R-E-N, Patrin. Number one, a serious a character aiming for zero crime rate, leading him to be against both the Gangler and the Lupin Rangers. Yeah, he's going to be the, well, maybe not like top gear so much, but you can tell he's going to be, he's, he's going to be the serious one. They'll break him though, they'll always break him. But the series with the thief, oh, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Uh, Ryu Ho uh, Hokayama, sorry, Ryu Hokayama is uh, is going to be playing Sayuka Hikawa, who plays Patron Two, a bright and obedient subordinate who is more concerned with catching the Lupin Rangers. And our pink member that to be a Patron Three, Kazusa Okiyama, who's going to be playing Asuka Mayujin. Uh, who acts like an older sister towards a Pathburn one and has a neutral stance versus the Lupin Rangers. We also have our side cast of characters. Uh, we are going to have Arpin Lu our Arson Lupin's descendant is going to be a butler, which is very interesting. Another side character that we're going to be have is going to be called Hilltop Commissioner, and he's going to be played by Ike Nwala, who is a Nigerian an Amer a Nigerian American actor. Uh, this is this is huge. This is this is huge. This is for everything I've been seeing uh, online. The first time an African American has had a predominantly uh, a, a, a supporting role, who will be in probably every episode. Uh, he's becoming quite large in Japan. There is an article that I linked below if you'd like to learn more about him. Uh, Vice did like a five minute um, little mini doc on him before interview. Uh, it was a really good watch. I recommend looking at it before the show starts because it's, it, it's just uh, it's kind of cool because it's like, yeah, he's, he was born in America too and he's on there. <laughs> Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff for these guys. Uh, stage show, first look, is up. Take a link. And the second teaser trailer has also been announced. The first, the big two-minute trailer is out. It deserves a ton of episode, and I'm sorry that I can't give it to it, but it is up. Uh, it looks like the gangler have sort of a fruit and weaponry motif. Uh, we have watermelon, grenade, banana, gun cartridge, and blueberry belt clip look fun to me. Uh, we have new picks up of the Mecha, of course, but there are also candy keychains out. 
we got okay so let's just move on to the toys a little bit we did get official images at least the ones the, the official images the ones with the white background the ones you're going to see in the toy listings we got it for good strikers so of course we had to get it for the rest of the um dx mechas sorry about that check out all of the pretty robos now they are going to be coming out in sets themselves that was a thing for um, with all of the trigger machines coming out, but the trigger machines are being what they use to transform, and it's also uh, going to be part of the Robo, so you're wondering how is this going to work. If you just had to buy many, many copies, you can just buy uh, the Robos on themselves, so if you buy the Henshin device, you only have one uh, double. And it looks like the DX ones are going to be the same, so if you get it in uh, the Henshin device, it's going to be the same as if you get it in the Mecha. However, if the giant uh, ones aren't quite your cup of tea, Mini Plaz, all oh, Mini Plaz, they, uh, Mini Plaz, the Versus Series 1, uh, they are up. I believe they might also be up for pre order as well. Mini Plaz, build them yourself, decorate them themselves, but they're also pretty cool. Uh, if you like building things yourselves, you might like these things. You do, you do, you do, you do your own figures. Uh, they are smaller than figure art, so in size you can't you can't see that, but smaller in figure arts in size, but you do make them themselves. Uh, last episode, so for Q, not episode, last year's for Q Ranger they did them, but they didn't do them for all of them. This time they're doing them from all starting six, so yes, you can get your female ones. If this is something, uh, you know, they just started it, it went well enough that they're giving them a shot. If it's something that you're interested in and want them to keep going, you can, uh, I'd say, give them a shot. Because if this keeps on, they could become just another new candy toy. And wouldn't that be kind of just, that's just, it's a new type of toy. I like new types of toys. Here we go. Uh, last little bit is just going to be rumors, and then I'm going to wrap it up. Last, um, a whole team of three more rangers could potentially be the third group. We're seeing everything is in groups of three. It would not be a stretch to just see a third team of rangers at this point. It really wouldn't. Um, that's a rumor, of course. Pirates, red, silver, and gold. You know where my heart lies on this, guys. You know where my heart lies. Uh, the other rumor is that there could be a spy-themed seventh ranger that is a double agent and uh, could be orange and purple form. I, I'm sorry, maybe this wasn't as fine polished as the Ranger we can review. This was completely, uh, this is new, and I'm just gonna keep growing with it. So if you like this, if you enjoyed hearing Just Toku News, um, or my take on it, let me know, and I will keep, uh, I'll keep growing and keep making every episode of this better. Ah, and it might just have to start with Japanese lessons to get my pronunciations better. Guys, if you haven't already, if you could hit that like button, I would really appreciate it. Subscribes are amazing, and they give me warm, fuzzy feelings inside. Follow me on any and all of my social medias, and we can keep this conversation going all week long. For, uh, I guess, the topic we can review, my name's Ranger Liz, and uh, have a great weekend. Not Toku Nation, the site, but Toku Nation, Liz, and everyone around the world.